Hi, I'm Paco. I'm from Mesosphere, and I wanted to show a bit about a, a new release we just did last week called uh, Elastic Apache Mesos. So uh, the URL is for it if you want to check it out. It's elastic.mesosphere.io. There's also a set of tutorials that we've built on top of this that's called mesosphere.io slash learn. OK, so uh, if you go to the first URL, elastic.mesosphere.io, uh, it's got uh, a really quick launch, basically three, two, one launch. Uh, you add your credentials, and you get a cluster on EC2 that's running Apache Mesos. So right here, a uh, screenshot of just going in, kind of in general what the architecture looks like. We're going to have a few uh, Mesos masters, three Mesos masters, and then some number of slaves. So first step is to choose the size of the cluster that you want. And right now, we've just got this preset. There's two different uh, variants on that. One is a, a six instance cluster, the other is an 18 instance cluster. Um, I should note also that there is no extra charge. This is all just basically your credentials for AWS. Uh, we don't keep the credentials. They're just all handled on the fly. And there's you know, no, other, no extra charge or anything added to it. And so speaking of that, credentials, uh, just paste in your access key and your secret key, and also a public SSH key. Uh, that way, you'll be able to log into the masters, et cetera. And click, yes, I have read and agreed to the uh, terms of use. Okay. And then finally, last step is uh, it'll prompt you for email. And this is really critical because we need to know where to send all the information about the cluster that's getting launched, and also uh, how to get into it and how to get it turned off. So click Launch, and it'll come up with, uh, are you sure? Yes, absolutely sure, confirm and launch. And bam, it comes back and says, OK, your cluster's being provisioned. And at that point, it's like 10, 15 minutes. Mostly, that's a matter of getting Amazon AWS getting EC2 nodes spun up. Uh, but once that happens, you'll get an email back. And it comes out and it says, OK, great. You've got, an, uh, you've got a Mesos cluster running. If you want to launch the, uh, the UI for the console, um, one of the masters is there, like 54.235.3.975050. And then there's also a bunch of links down there which uh, go out to different tutorials. So what's interesting is that we've taken and embedded the parameters for your cluster uh, inside of the URL encoded parameters for these different tutorials. So if I, if I were to click on one of those, say run Apache Spark on Mesos, then um, it'll come here and it'll have a lot of different variables populated. What your masters are, what your zookeeper nodes are, uh, where your name node URL is, etc. Uh, there's right now six different tutorials, but we're adding more all the time. Uh, maybe by the time that I sit down, there'll be a couple more added. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, there's a quick start for Hadoop on Mesos. There's also a more extended tutorial that shows how to package uh, uh, Apache Hadoop on top of Apache Mesos. Uh, also running Spark and running Kronos, uh, how to run with Marathon, and then how to tie it together, how to go and put together uh, an example ETL pipeline using Kronos and Hadoop together. Alrighty, so uh, I like purple screens. So this comes out, and I log into the master, and I've got a purple screen, and I've got a URL here uh, for my console, not showing anything running yet. There's some resources. This will be up online, um, but we try to collect together a lot of different pointers to resources, especially the bottom one, where I'm collecting notes about Mesos in general, and some articles, and some other events coming up very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.